Infinity Gold Awards in a jet plane. We're sacrificing together. I feel your pain. Impotent Ray. Eat organic, recycle, or I'll have a fit. He's a judgmental hypocrite. Union entitlements rule. Van God in school. Smack for junkies. Welfare for flunkies. Infinity Ray. Get back to work! Impotent rage. 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 Safety first. Hey, fellas. What's going on here? Oh, impotent rage. Thank God you're here. We're being oppressed by an evil corporation. Our bosses want us to actually work. It won't guarantee us 200% raises. Summer Fridays off and pensions for life after retiring at 37. Why, that's outrageous. But we're going out of business if we don't make some changes. They want free snacks, massages, and raises every year. Then most of them go on disability with full pay anyway. You revolting chiselers, you! They're trying to fire me for sleeping at my desk. You were drunk! Well, you would be too! He's just deadening the pain inside from being trapped as a mediocre cog in the dead-end machine of capitalism. But he's the CFO! I said American workers should be able to retire at age 35 and receive health care! And a salary for life on your dime. Otherwise, what's the point? That's impossible! That's not how economics work! Don't you understand? I'm extremely rich! I understand how economics work and what the working class needs! They want a six-pack of beer, an eager girl in their pickup truck, and a depressing folk tune playing on the radio. This here's a free country, boy! Free, but with thousands of rules and regulations to keep greedy corporations like you in line. If you don't like it, move to China. But, but because of the free trade agreement, that's where we'll have to move the company if we don't want to go out of business. We just want a sensible discussion of the issue. Oh, you're nothing short of a disgrace. If peaceful protest won't change your mind, we're going to have to solve this the old-fashioned way. With mind-bending liberal impotent rage! <laughs> Man. My work here is done. But our workplace is destroyed. Ah, hell, go on welfare. Kick back, get a six pack and relax. You deserve it after all this work. Wait, we just want to work. Braxton Industries, headed by billionaire liberal playboy Braxton Hunter, recently celebrated the closing of another highway to install more bike lanes and collective urban farms. Braxton recently returned from a trip to Antarctica on his private jumbo jet, where he'd been to accept an environmental award. Some critics say that Hunter is also the caped superhero Impotent Rage because they look exactly alike and have the same voice, and Impotent Rage tends to show up right after Mr. Hunter quietly sneaks out. He has emphatically denied they are the same person. A hero of the liberal media, others say Hunter is a rich, entitled asshole with too much time on his hands. What? I am not a rich, entitled asshole with too much time on my hands. Woo, baby! Now that is one productive day's work. I'm gonna go home and do some yoga, drink some wheatgrass, and go to my favorite farmer's market. Good morning, Braxton. You look great. You've got a bunch of voicemail messages. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, from who? Uberman. Uberman! My arch nemesis! I hate that right-wing bully! Hey, Ibn and 
rage, you pathetic hypocrite. <laughs> I was just eating some whale sashimi and a manatee steak when my thoughts turned to you. Dumb, slow vegetarians whom the state will no longer protect. <laughs> See you around, schmucko. Oh, do I hate that man. Oh, do I despise Braxton, him? Braxton, Braxton, <laughs> there, there. I know a way to calm you down. <sighs> Something wet and relaxing that you'll really like. Oh. A flaxseed smoothie. You've got a great idea, baby. Braxton, I need to tell you something. I'm in love with you. I want you to take me, rip my clothes off, and thrust yourself inside me. Sometimes I feel like you don't even notice I'm here. I I'm sorry. Uh, what were you saying? <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. I get emotional about this stuff too, Violet. The environment, marriage rights, hemp clothing, recycling, placenta cakes. You know, I became a liberal at a very young age. My parents were violet. We're about to start the flashback sequence, so please wiggle back and forth for me now. Okay. My parents moved here as immigrants from Vice City and built a huge empire, exploiting people mercilessly. My father made a fortune strip mining, boiling, dumping toxic pollution, and marketing tobacco. He was a womanizer. And much more interesting than me. He belittled me constantly. And then he died before he could write me out of his will. And so I became the majority shareholder in a huge multinational company. I traveled the world. I joined lots of NGOs and did what any other impossibly rich, sexually confused rich kid does. Became a superhero. Through the art of self-meditation, yoga, and a freak green energy accident, which gave me unnatural godlike powers, I became impotent rage, 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 rage. Wait, what's that? What is it? It's my echo sense going off. That man isn't recycling. Hey, Neanderthal, do you know what century it is? Recycle that soda can, or I'll come down there and teach you a lesson you won't forget in a hurry. I can't stand being disrespected like this. The fuck she cut me. Braxton, quick, yeah. to the anger room. <laughs> oh. Wow! Oh my God! All this relentless self-righteous pasturing. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. What is it? high-tech device of the future I personally invented, even though I am otherwise entirely incompetent? Impotent rage, there's some trouble down by the river. Fascism never sleeps. Violet! I'm over here. Of course you are. Why are you wearing that ridiculous outfit? I thought superheroes run around in their underwear, so should their assistants. I thought you would like it. Violet, it's that kind of hyper-sexualized clothing that exploits and demeans women. Fuck me. Fuck me! Time for impotent rage! Uh, where is it? Here. For the record, this is an organic, entirely fair trade cotton one piece that is dyed in berry juice, harvested by a lesbian commune. And it's every bit as effective at fighting crime as the synthetic fibers made popular by some of my rivals. Quick, to the suit-up montage! Uh, Braxton? What's this? That's the cost to animate your overly elaborate and lengthy suit-up montage. Uh, got it. Okay, skip the montage. Let's go straight to... Impotent Rage! Impotent Rage! There are over 8 million species of migratory birds that travel through San Andreas. But every day, hundreds of thousands of birds are slaughtered by a not-so-silent predator, windmills. So-called environmentalists' desperate need to destroy our state's indigenous oil industry will lead to noisy, nature-killing windmills literally in your backyard. At 
San Andreas Water and Power. We're working with state and local officials to make sure that windmills and solar panels don't ruin our pristine environment. Let's keep the power on. Nature, and in particular our beautiful birds, will thank you. Nothing is more dangerous for a bird than a slow-moving windmill. They, like any half-sentient creature, much prefer 100-acre industrial plants spewing out noxious chemicals. Let's all work together to preserve our environment. San Andreas Water and Power. No more fracking! No more fracking! No more fracking! No more fracking! What's going on here? These protesters want to stop us from fracking! You conservatives! Always trying to stop loving people from fracking! What century are you living in? If these three men want to frack each other, what business is it of yours? If these two want to spit roast this guy, why do I care? What? But they want to drill really deep and make a mess. Why, they say that's the joy of fracking. Why, I'll bet this happy fellow is a top. I, I, I say what? Fracking is what makes the world go round. Everyone is free to frack who they want, what they want, and where they want. I myself would frack all the time if it weren't that my superpowers have adversely affected my fracking prowess. Oh, oh yeah! I do love big, delicious penises. You have to help us, impotent rage. We'll be an old breast. I've had about enough of your Stone Age outrage. You angry conservatives are all pen up homosexuals yourselves. Hey, but we're not conservatives, we're protesters. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? should sort things out for everyone. You just keep on fracking, boys. Does anyone want a photo for their life, Invader Page? I really do exist. And I prove not all closeted rich guys are creepy. <laughs> oh, impotent rage. You're such an ignoramus. Uberman! You littering pig! I was wondering when you turn up. Oh, my suit is so fancy. This suit is actually pleasuring me right now. Mm. Oh, oh, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Yang! You've worked yourself up into such a liberal lather that you actually ended up helping the opposition. <laughs> These are natural gas wells that pollute the environment, not three old queens into P and P. What? Oh, no, no! What have I done? <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll donate some money to charities. Uh, build a statue of a kid in a wheelchair? That will clear my conscience. I've come to save the day again from you. The common herd needs a genetically superior synthetic fiber-clad sociopath lunatic to look up to. Not a soy latte sipping dweeb with a flaxen... Well, you get the point. But first, I'm off to drill some oil wells in environmentally sensitive wetlands. <laughs> Goodbye, impotent rag. No! I must stop him. To the impotent mobile electric car! Initiate solar panel sequence right away! The conservatives always win. This is America. Our fires burn bright, especially in the trash barrels that keep people warm or after a riot because there's no jobs. America is hurting. We're at each other's throats wondering if this country can ever come back from the abyss while bankers loot the coffers. The thing about steel, it's hot and cold at the same time, like a woman, the Lady Happiness. 
We made the problems, and we're solving them together. Because we're in this together. Which is why it's only right you're paying for the mistakes we made together. Subpar cars and overly entitled executives. Together, we're holding on to the dream. That dream is luxury and a gas-guzzling luxury car created in a nation that's 95% condemned.